but feeling a little Dawn. better now. Dawn. Oh, I'll just put my headset on so we've got double audio. Won't be a sec. And we'll get stuck in. So we can go to all the various bars around Baldur's Gate and meet our paid our old of buddies <laughs> who we would have worked with. This is so cool by the way. I'll have a quick look around, but not a huge one. I might check out the three old kegs, but that might be it. And then we'll get ourselves rolling. Of course. <laughs> you. Hang on, there were two in armor. Ooh, what was that? There are many ways. Looking to lighten your purse, chum. You. Well, well, what have we got here? Hmm. Just a concern, citizen. Is that right? Well, maybe you should just shove off before you get hurt. Hmm. Well, actually, this is probably closer to where we are now. You're offering yourself as a pick. Now that I think of it, you've got to look at someone with a bit of coin in your pocket. That's right, you tell them. <laughs> yeah, you tell them, Marl. How about you hand over every copper you have? Maybe we'll let you go. You're thugs and bullies. You'll not get a single coin from me. We were hoping you'd say that. Get him. Ugh. Jeez, I feel bad for these guys. Um, don't really feel like webbing. And we're in the middle of all this too. Oh, actually quite tight corridor. Bits of speed though, we should be able to run around here and then re-engage. Let's do that. I'll have you dead. Oh, there are archers helping out. Let's keep moving. I'll have you dead. I'll have you dead. Now hopefully we can drop this trap. And then sneak. Dawn and Man, that archer is kicking. Serious butt, and I'm, I'm gonna steal their kill. <laughs> Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. Got one. Stone skin's in effect still, isn't it? Yes, it is. We can just fight these guys as we wish. You deserve no less than death. Let's drag them over this way towards our truck. <laughs> and we'll engage the most wounded one. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Let's roll back this way. Speed and stealth. She took out one of them. I oh, will help her with the shooting. Damn it. Anything good on them? These potions could be useful just because we are taking more damage this time. Than just a basic set of braces. Alright, everybody, we're all good. Hear ye, hear ye. Welcome to the Three Old Cakes. Step through this door and experience one of the finest inns Baldur's Gate has to offer. The streets are packed with refugees looking for lodging. The Iron Throne building offers temporary shelter to those who cannot afford rooms for themselves. I'm here to let those that can know. Three old cakes offers excellent quality at a fair price. This crusade may be bad for the Sword Coast, but it's been a blessing for us. The work does get a bit tiring though. I wonder, could I ask a favour? I've been chatting here for hours, but my, but my voice is starting to go. If you're going inside, would you ask Kathira to send a drink out for me? Of course. Thank you. I'll await you here until you're ready to go. Join me for a drink. <clears throat> so, the hero of Baldur's Gate. Tell me about yourself. I'm curious to meet this character. Didn't really before. Um... Rather know about you. What would you like to know? How did you join the Flaming Fist? Ah, well, therein lies a tale, but 
It's a long one. My father, Ottomar, was a fist. You could say I followed in his footsteps. It's a curious way of putting things. You obviously followed his footsteps since you enlisted. Many children emulate their parents. Not me, thankfully. Oof. That's uh, funny on two levels. A charismatic leader. An acolyte of the Order of the Aster once. She claims divine favor for herself and her forces. That's why so many flock to her banner. What She'll she be a formidable opponent. What is she hoping to accomplish? We'll find out soon enough, I suspect. But what she wants is of little consequence. It's what she actually does that matters. Whether the battle's long or short, glorious or horrific, it's going to happen. Kalar's got to be stopped. She's driving people out of their homes, seizing their goods, forcing innocents into service. We can't let it go on. We won't. With the combined forces of Waterdeep, Daggerford, and Baldur's Gate, our victory is certain. Uh, last bit I'm not so happy with, but let's see what she says. Drink up. We've things to do and not much time to do them in. Let's talk to Char. Of course. <laughs> it is always good to give a little tip. About yourself. You must get lonely from time to time. Go on, you. I'm happy with... <laughs> okay, that's enough for... Uh... We'll have a wine as well. Okay, now let's see what we can do in here. We we're supposed to tell someone. There we go, Kathira. It is always good to give a little tip. Rebel needs a drink. Hmm. I'm a hearty individual with an oxus stamina, but even I would find Rebel's task trying. Are you sure you can't find a way to get our drink more quickly? Oh, this might be based off our our constitution. This is something you saw in... I saw it first in Icewind Dale 2, but more in things like uh, Neverwinter Nights, where your character's attributes impact what things you can say. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the first one. All right, all right, you convinced me. I'll have the kitchen mix some hot lemon water with a bit of rum and honey and send it out right away. Excellent. Lucilla. Mm -hmm. You are welcome here. <laughs> Any drink specials for heroes tonight? No. Uh, no. Okay. Done and done. It is always good to give a little tip. Nobody in here. We'll be heading off soon. We might check out the Iron Throne before we go. A Minsk. simple task. Minsk. What is it, Bo? I've never seen you so. Oh, they got the actual voice actor too. Ah. Can it be? Is this the hero of Baldur's Gate, I see? Let's, uh, let's play so we haven't seen him before. Only a madman would not recognize the Slayer of Saravok. Isn't that right, Boo? Oh, forgive me. I am Minsk, and this is Boo. Boo is a miniature giant space hamster. <laughs> Of course he is. I'll be leaving now, because this is a solo run. Dinner here in here? Is dinner here in here? What a sentence. How do we talk to dinner here? Uh... Such riffraff everywhere. I couldn't help but overhear you. Oh, let's have a read. What did we have? What did we have here? There's no doubting it. It is time to remove the Council of Four and take the city for ourselves. Oh. Hmm. Well, who is the Council? That's Belton. Eh, yeah, not so bad. Oh, we can become part of the plot. We can encourage the plot. But we can extort for the plot, or we can just say, eh, there's no neutral, is there? All right.
Ah, oh, let's try and extort them. Please do. I'll need the guards here when I expose you as traitors. I love this. And you'll put in my cloak. And boots. Okay. What did we get? Ooh. Ostentatious boots. Give us a plus one in charisma. What is this? Have we got any... Oh, yeah. Let's do that. We can protection and a dagger plus one. Love the ostentatious boots. That's exactly what they look like. And some potions. Cool. Nothing else in here. Oh, the lender. I wasn't going to rob you at no all. standards these days. It's the private rooms. Deepest apologies. I hear there's another woman here who might be interested in my anti-aging magic. But a beauty like yours needs no help from me. Let's try that. Anti-aging? I can cast spells to reduce the signs of aging. I see you have a little need of such things, except for, well, perhaps. Perhaps what? What is it? <laughs> this is completely immoral. Let's do it. The necklace around your throat would be sufficient payment. Oh no. Here is a spell I promised, ma'am. When you awake, your laugh lines will be gone. What did we cast? Oh, do we actually cast sparkly lights? Oh, that's evil. That's so... Oh, I can't believe we just did that. It did kind of run away on its own, didn't it? All right, let's check out the Iron Throne and then we'll go on of this course. quest. <laughs> you. A simple task. You've a fair number of friends, but we should head back to the Ducal Palace. You need to get some rest before we head out in the morning. Done and done. The Iron Throne is a refugee center, it seems. I think Rasad is at the Flaming Fist Count compound, so we'll probably skip that. Let's check it out. Done and done. Hastily constructed tents, many little more than sheets strung on clotheslines, form this lopsided shanty town. And I've seen stench lingers in the nearby air. Oh, oh uh, hello. <laughs> is this mercenary bothering you? Apparently, we're seeing something here. Well, Officer Riggs was just uh, helping me. That's right. I'm helping him find his kitty. I'll see you as soon as you've got something. I mean, as soon as I've got your cat bison. It'll be real soon. Well, let's talk to him again, actually. Maybe he'll be more forthcoming with him out of the way. I like how they've, um, chopped the streets full of people. It's kind of cool, really. I guess there are no hardware oh, limitations. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You've really done it this time, Bison. Are you alright, sir? Oh, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Forgive me for saying so, but you don't seem fine. No, oh, I'm not fooling anyone. I'm not alright. That, that, that flaming fist thug Riggs has taken everything I've got, and it's not enough. If I can't find more gold, he'll beat me worse than he did poor Yasin. I'm doomed. Doomed! Hmm. Your persecutor's name is Riggs. We will have words, he and I. Truly? Oh, thank you, thank you, and bless you. If you can rid me of that plague, Riggs, you'll be doing all who seek refuge in Baldur's Gate a service. I shall await you here, then, and pray for your success. Fare thee well. Assuming that's all as it appears. What is it you want now? Let's talk about corrupt Fleming Fist officers assigned to look after these refugees. We've been working our fingers to the bone keeping this scum safe. So what if I'm taking a little bonus? I earned it. Well, that clears things up. Hmm. By that logic, I will have earned what I take from you. Would you rather be a dead fool or a breathing wise man? Oh, the writing is very good in this. I like that. Uh, we're going to stay a bit more neutral, though. A bit more good, actually. You sicken me, Riggs. 
Give me what you took and I'll let you go. Don't, and we'll have a problem, you and I. Yes, I know you've got dependents too, but still. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm on the straight and narrow now. Y you've put me right, I swear it. Now just leave me be, yeah? Oh, it's you. Uh, oh, it's you. Have you... Have you had a chance to speak with Riggs about, you know, about what he's been doing yet? Done. And some experience points too. Always, always pretty valuable. Oh, I did some reading on a... Someone did a, uh, a pacifist run through of Baldur's Gate. I'm not sure how that would even really work, but... Because there are some points where you just have to straight up kill the enemy, like Deveon. I mean, you can do shenanigans like petrifying and things, but yeah. In short, he um, did a playthrough of the second game at least, and he was uh, amazed at how f how little experience points you actually get, how few experience points you get um, without killing things. So I often wondered that because there's two kinds of experience. There's the quest experience which we get, so and then there's just experience like this straight up. Quest experience is given to each of the characters in your party straight up. So we get no bonus on that. Um, whereas normal experience points are shared between up to six characters. So with one, you're actually getting six times the XP you would normally get from each kill. But I always figured the quest experience was way more. You get it in huge chunks and it's distributed. So I thought the difference between playing solo and a party of six wouldn't be... Yeah, it'd be there, but it wouldn't be so substantial. And considering that... Um, levels are exponential too in how much experience they need. Long and short of it, apparently it is significant, so uh, we should expect to get pretty powerful. The Iron Throne building doesn't look the same as the last time you were here, does it? The Council's using it to house refugees fleeing the Crusade. Cool. A simple task. Birda. Birda. You are more than welcome in my sight. It was right here. I know it was. That's cool. Actually doing healing spells. I welcome you with outstretched hand. Pardon me. Well, Rassad's there, but I'm probably going to skip him. Well, let's... Yeah, upper levels are packed. I think it's just really Rassad here. Maybe downstairs? If we can get that man out of the way. Lightning bolt. There we go. Of course. Just had to threaten the lightning bolt and it took him out of the way. Oh, uh, what's in here? Uh, yeah, we can use some gold. We're actually pretty low on the old gold pieces. But we're well equipped, so that's what really matters. A right. simple task. Well, that was interesting. Let's uh, of course. <laughs> yeah. let's rock on out of here. Back to the Ducal Palace. We're in my Australian tongue, the Dackle Palace, mate. Of course. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get out of here. If I was playing, if it was just me, I would oh, name characters. Sorry. Generous, open-handed. Ha! If we didn't lose everything before, we surely did after we enjoyed your hospitality. Oh, really? Silence, you ungrateful. I, I mean, not all the refugees are as grateful as they should. Okay, this guy's been stealing off refugees, it would seem. Hmm. You profit from refugees, you stay with you. These are pretty clear-cut moral questions. I'm sort of used to quests in Baldur's Gate having a little bit of, you know, swirl to them. You call that slop food? Three people up and left last night, figuring they'd have better luck getting a meal at the Iron Throne. 
And that was after they'd paid you your blood gold. Oh, uh, okay. Elf Song Tavern, let's do that. Okay, yep. Food, refugees. Of course. <sighs> we'll just race over there and do that. A simple task. There's so many characters in the streets that it makes it hard to get through sometimes. A simple task. Okay, needs provisions. Hmm. I'd hate to ask it, my lady, but is there no way you could donate the supplies? These people are in grave need. The food is in a chest upstairs. Here's the key. Oh, cool. I like Alice. She's in the uh, PlayStation 2 version of the game. Uh, I guess it's a different chest. Uh, I assume we've got the key. It'll just open. Is it up here or here? Go. Supplies. I think I saw someone unconscious oh, outside as well. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And let's get out of here. A unconscious simple man. I'm so tired. This is outrageous. We haven't done anything wrong. You lot just sit tight until backup arrives. Yeah. What's going on here, officer? Do you require some assistance? The refugees came to our city for aid, then repaid our generosity by causing a commotion in the street. Maybe. Maybe we got a little rough with each other. What of it? Our tempers are short and the hours pass slowly. Hmm... If you created the disturbance, the Fleming Fist is obligated to detain you. I really should have locked in what alignment I'm playing here at this point because, well, we've done. The problem is the story of the first game kind of railroads you into being very lawful at the end. This, you know, these are the guys who you supported on the way down to taking out Saravok. So, but if they were fighting, nah. Willing to do us a favor. I haven't enough people to escort all these rowdies to headquarters. Could you go to the Flaming Fist Command Center and tell Jinx that Officer Vida requires reinforcements? Cool, yeah. Hmm. All right, we'll get some backup. That said, I do understand people being cooped up and tensions rising. We're almost to Flaming Fist headquarters. There's a cleric being held there Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk Don't to a madman I'm like Tiax is beyond me. Tiax. Whoa. Dowston just got kicked out of that doorway. I will do what I can to help you. Hmm. Obviously in distress. What happened to him? By poor man you made the once Lord Dowston, Lord of the Order of Aster. Ask him yourself if you really want to know. He delights in telling the tale. Debauchery. What happened? I'm going to skin this. Order of Aster. Argent was his name. I'm a worthy servant of Lathanda. Who is this? His father was it? He served a great man. Alan Argent. I'm a worthy servant of Lathanda. And has never had. Okay, this is interesting. Any relation to Kayla Argent? 
the tales I could tell you of Kayla, my friend. She was a hellacious child. <laughs> hellacious. But her uncle and noble aunt, sorry, her uncle noble, Orn, was patient with her. It cost him everything. It cost me everything. I, I, oh, unconscious. He'll be out for a few days now. See if he isn't. I dare leave, I leave him for the vultures, but for all his fault, he's a good enough sort. He seemed to know of Kayla Argent. Has he told you of anything of her? She caused his fall, so he claims. He's never been very clear on how exactly. Something to do with his mentor. Now, if you excuse me, I have a fallen paladin to lug to a cell. Well, let's check in with Tiax, because Tiax is awesome. Head down the hall, keep going through the central chamber on the opposite wing. This one. Or just follow the ranting. Either one will get you to the maniac. I love Tiax. Of course. <laughs> you. What happened to you? Please, help us. Officer Jenks, we need backup. We're more than mercenaries. Hmm. So we're saying it'll take some time. Refugees were frustrated over their losses and crowding in the streets. They meant no harm. I hope you'll show leniency. Refugees are spreading chaos in the streets. You need to send a message that this behavior won't be tolerated. Yeah, well, I'm gonna gently show my political leanings. I hope you'll show them leniency. We need to enforce law, but we don't want to be unjust. We'll hold them the night, let them cool off. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Oops. Where is Tia? First, Tiax will kill all those who dare look down upon him. You, come here! Tiax commands you! Alright, you're like this. Well met, TX. How are you going this night? How is TX doing? What sort of question is that for the master of all? I would not want to ups upset the master of all by being rude. Then you are wise. Perhaps TX takes what is rightfully his. You will be spared. You may go now. Before I do, I have a boon to ask of you. Aha! Finally! He gets to the point! You want to do something from T you want something from TX? Well, what is it? What can this humble servant of almighty Sirek Sirek? do for you. <laughs> Help me kill a woman named Kayla. You believe you're humble? None are more humble than TX. Sirik has declared it so. Ah, oh, out of curiosity, what does Sirik say about the shining lady, Kayla Argent? TX knows of the luminous one. Luminous is a strange word, is it not? Luminous. 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 Focus, TX. Mm. You know what? It actually is a kind of an odd one. Luminous. But it is at best beside the point. They call me mad. They all call me mad. TX will show them. TX will show them all. What do you want with TX, Lord of the Land, Seas and Sky, Ball Bread? Oh my god, he knew. He knows who we are. I want you to help me find and eliminate Kayla, the Shining Lady. You know nothing of Sirik or his ways. Perhaps Tiax will do as you ask. Perhaps you kill this Shining Lady in the name of the one true Lord of Murder. Nay, Sirik has given Tiax a vision. You go to your doom, child of Baal. Tiax will not join you. He will stay here in his court where he is safe. Sirik has declared it so. Are you sure? TX has spoken. Begone! Interesting. I wonder why he won't. I thought he would. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, are you alright? Yeah, okay. We've already been here before. Whoa! What did I miss then? TX is alright. TX is more than alright. TX is mighty. All will bow for the wonder and glory of TX when TX rules. Die! Die in the name of TX! You are lucky TX chooses to await his destiny in this cell. But your luck will run out when he rules. Tremble in terror. The day is coming. Now be gone. TX would have a nap. I love TX. I have played with TX in the party once and it was brilliant. 
And it's just like... Declare yourself. And then a moment of your time, officer. I'd like to talk about a homeowner by the Ducal Palace. His name is Garachin. He's offering shelter to refugees, but taking everything they own in exchange. Distasteful to be sure, but not illegal. Huh. Some refugees left his home because the quarters were so cramped and the food so poor. Surely there are laws governing this sort of thing. Yeah, like zoning laws. As far as I know, folks are free to strike whatever bargain they like. There was nothing untoward about the, these refugees leaving, was there? And what if there was? Well, in that case, you'd have to launch an investigation, of course. Uh, I can't lie to you, officer. The matter's as straightforward as they come. There's nothing there to investigate. Uh, we could, like, make some up, but no. Well, then. Okay. Well, maybe the food will help that situation out. And then, at long last, we will go. A simple task. Yep, yeah, that's right. Done and done. Well, Gretchen. We have, we have supplies. Really? I don't, didn't think you'd return. These supplies will help tremendously. I have to admit, I haven't acted as honorably as I could have. Thank you for showing me another way. Now I see why you're called the hero of Baldur's Gate. Bless you. Bless you. There are many here who'll not soon forget this. Here, take this gem. I hid it so Garrichin wouldn't get his greasy paws on it. Uh, don't ask where. Ugh. A water opal, which we will put in the gem bag, and then wash our hands thoroughly. And we can put this key away on the keychain. Very cool idea, by the way. Cool. All right. Let's uh, get back inside here. A simple task. Chuspel. You are welcome here. To try and cheer Jospel up. Good day to you. Where do the reports come from? Bridge foot hold on. From the north, Kayla's Crusade has already taken Dragon Spear Castle. Title drop. Bridge Fort will fall soon, if it hasn't already. Bridge Fort. Alright, settlement up near the Boriskia Boriskia River? During the time of troubles, Sirik and Baal battled each other there. Oh, cool. The water west of Bridgefort has been fouled and poisonous to drink ever since. And Dragon Spear. Adventure Adaris Dragon Spear built a castle on the edge of the High Moor, midway betwixt Baldur's Gate and Waterdeep. It's my intention to get the word betwixt into every conversation nowadays. He died ages ago, but it's been a ruin for years, with only monsters and bandits going near it, until the Crusade took it over as their base. Um, we will thwart the, cru the crusade. Settlements. I'm just skipping through this. If you want to pause and read through, you're welcome to. Okay, Duke Elton. Greetings. How are you holding up? Ah, you sound kind of like the uh, narrator from Icewind Dale. Hmm. Thoughts. Well enough, sir. How are you? After Sarabak's defeat, I had hoped for peace, but it was not to be. I grow too old for this sort of thing. Once it would have excited me, now I am simply weary. A Kalashite monk once told me, every night is dawn's herald. The trick is to hold on to the memory of light until the darkness breaks. The night is a fail, draped across the ugly face of the world. Nothing to fear. A bleak view, but one that seems to have served you well enough thus far. As pleasant as it is to speak with you, I am required elsewhere right now. Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. Greetings. 
A Kalashite monk once told me every night is dawn's herald. We'll skip through this again. The trick is to hold on to the memory of light until the darkness breaks. Whoa, hang on. They call Kayla the Shining Lady. She fancies herself the light that will break the darkness. Duke. I have been called many things in my time, Aiden, but my mother was no dog. Names are just words, and words can be twisted. However, Kayla or her followers try to justify their actions. They are disrupting commerce throughout the Sword Coast, and our people suffer for it. Your words are welcome, and they give us hope. Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. Jopsel? We've learned something of Jopsel. Let's talk to him again. More reports, more dead. Okay. We now are going to be leaving, it seems. I should... Oh, yeah, we've done all this. Hold on. Look for... Orphilus in the Ducal Palace's basement. Let's do that now. I think we already Dawn have and Dawn. spoken to someone down here. Is there someone out there? Who's in there? I'm an officer at the Flaming Fist. You've got to get me out of here. How did you get in there? A doppelganger tricked me into opening the door, then took my face and locked me in here. Please find a key and let me out. Or do we think this is a doppelganger? We're going to quickly buff up, which we've got enough buffs to do this. We're going to fire doppelganger. We should be right. A simple task. Thank the gods. I thought I'd never get out of this cell. You aren't out of it yet, friend. My name is... Oh, God. Idea Neely. What a great name. I'm an officer with a flaming fist. I stumbled upon a mage in Saravok's service. She tricked me, locked me in the cell. And how did she manage that? I can't stand around here talking. I've got to get to my commander. You have my gratitude. I'll give you more. I'd give you more had I more to give, but I do not. Now I must bid you farewell. The fist restrained... Assuming that's not the dog. I mean, I would glue myself to that double game to that person down there and make sure it wasn't someone we. Because what's saying that that's not a doppelganger? Mm. Oh, here we go. You are welcome here. I'd like to withdraw my savings. Ah. You want your money, do you? If you'd be so kind. Yes, well, you see, here's the thing. There's, uh, in regards to your gold, <laughs> there's a problem. I, uh, I don't exactly have it at the moment. That is troubling. A lot of effort went into requiring that gold ore, Phyllis. It only cost me my life more than once. I still don't know how it happened. The dog won every race it was in for the last five, ten... Oh, no. It should have won this one easily. But who brings their pet rabbit along to a dog race? I mean, really. You bet all my gold on a dog race. All of it. You realise I have to kill you now. You do understand that, don't you? <laughs> hmm... I won't tell Belt. You'll tell him yourself immediately. He needs to know what's happening down here. Ugh. Lawful and chaotic. Yeah, this guy lost all my savings. I'm reporting him to Belt. How long will it take for you to recover what you've lost? Just give me a little time. I'll, I'll, I'll get it for you. I, I swear. I'll go right now and fetch it for you, shall I? Yes, I'll go now. I'll meet you outside the palace with your money before you leave. Oh, that does not sound good. Also, he just left the treasury unguarded. But it's locked. 
No, we got it open. Oh, maybe we ought to check this for traps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, yeah. Let's drop a potion, because I think it's going to be worth it. Quick save. Potion of Perception gives us plus 20. Let's do that. Although, Potion of... Yeah. Hmm. Well, that should get us enough money to leave town well equipped. A simple task. In fact, let's rock on over to the sundries. She'll be upstairs waiting for us. Okay. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Dawn and Good. Dawn. We don't often hear that when we're playing solo. Hey, or Phyllis. You are welcome here. Uh, there you are. I'm, I'm glad to see you. Or Phyllis, you're bleeding. What happened to you? I had it, Aiden. I had your money. Had? My tense is making you tense, eh? <laughs> oh, no, laughing. Laughing's not good right now. My ribs are pretty broken. I had, I had your gold. Uh, I said I'd get it. I, <coughs> <coughs> I did, uh, but before I had a chance to bring it to you, I was attacked. Attacked by ruffians. Yes, yes, of course you were. Where did this happen? Uh, they were refugees, fleeing the crusade. I heard one. She said that they could return to the three cakes now. Oh, gods, that hurts. That, that really, really hurts. Uh, now they have... Now they had gold to spend. Mm. Go to the palace, find a cleric. All right, we'll go to the three old cakes. You're a kind man. Uh, thank you. I, I, I will repay you. I, I swear it. Just just need just need a little more time and some healing. Excuse me. God. Okay. Then we'll Dawn be finished here. Dawn. So who am I looking for? My missed fortune. Should search the three old cakes people who attacked Orphilius. Uh, let's talk of to course, <laughs> yeah. It is always good to give a little tip. I wonder where they went. Oh, I was rude to him. Not on the bottom floor, it would seem. Of course. <laughs> the generosity... To the generosity of the Grand Duke's treasurer. Oh dear. Let's uh, have a quick nap, actually. I want to have my spells a intact. simple task. Can I sleep here? Uh, no. No, we can't. All right, we'll do with what we have. A simple task. Hastus Ozil Barahi. I'm so tired. Even if the crusade ends, life will never be the same. Oh, stranger, come have a drink with us. You seem in high spirits this night, friends. Why wouldn't we? We've, why wouldn't we be? We've had a roof over our heads, food, drink, more than we've had since the shiny lady's bloody crusade drove us all from the troll troll caves. You, I'm going to just get information out before I drop the, uh, the old bomb here. You arrived in town recently then? Nah, 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 we've been here a ten day or more. It's uh, Duke Belt's charity that feeds us. Or the charity of his palace's treasurer, anyway. What was his name again? Orphidius? No, Orphilus. That's that's what it was. Ophilus. Ophilus. He was the one who contributed to our merrymaking. It's funny you mention Orphilus. I encountered him earlier. He'd not have the air of one who happily parted with the gold you spend here with such abandon. Who are you? What do you want with us? Mm -mm. Who am I? 
They call me Aiden. Among other things, Hero of Baldur's Gate, Slayer of Saravok, Destroyer of the Iron Throne. I want the money you took from Orphalus. My money. Hmm. We can just... We can emphasize that we want... Yeah, justice for the innocent man you beat so viciously. Yeah, I... We don't have the gold. <laughs> I mean, I quite like how in most of these games they need to drop your income to fairly lowish because, you know, they don't want you walking in and buying everything. I don't mind the reset, but this is a drawn out way of saying it. The banquet you enjoy is certainly impressive, but you could not have spent all of my gold on it. The journey to Baldur's Gate was long and hard, and our time here has been no easier. We're skin and bones. This is the first decent meal we've had in two months or more. And had you asked for me to cover your banquet, I would have done so. Our story is hardly unique, I know. Thousands who fled the crusade huddle in the streets of this city, cold, hungry, and alone. We took the treasure as gold, not to help ourselves, but others who share our plight. And we're just going to accept that. No verification. Um, you gave the rest of the gold to those who needed it. To those who desperately needed it. That gold saved many lives, or at least prolonged them a time. If we must be punished for that, so be it. I'll die gladly knowing I did so in service to a higher cause. Uh, this is a bit funky. Aye, and if we're not killed, a cell in the flaming fist will at least offer a roof over our head and a meal a day. There's more than many have right now. Uh, no. Your heart might have been in the right place, but what about Orphilus? You beat the man within an inch of his life. I can't allow thievery and assault to go unchallenged in the city. Go downstairs and turn yourself in to Captain Corwin of the Flaming Fist. <laughs> You'll not see a cell. All that awaits you is a pauper's grave. God, that's dark. I think number two is going to be a week where we go. You're right. We needed what we took, but that does not excuse what we did. We'll turn ourselves in. Farewell, he hero. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Of course. <laughs> yeah. More wine? I'll not have any more myself, but you're decent enough company for the most part. For the most part? Take it as a compliment. You're a woman of refinement and taste. You noticed. Good eye. I have two eyes, actually. They're better than good. I've been told they're spectacular. You seem pretty observant yourself. Tell me what you make of me. I think I'll keep that to myself. For the moment. I'll be by the door. I'll follow you out when you go. A simple task. All right. One quick run through the sundries, and oh, then we'll course. go. Of <laughs> yeah. A simple task. Well, we're hardly running out of cash, are we? Whoa. Yeah, we'll be fine. Damn. Uh, potions, anything here we don't really need. Mm, we don't need that. This we don't need either. Tempted to sell these, but uh, we'll keep them. You know me. Uh, let's just check our ammo belt. Anything we don't need here, we'll get rid of. Darts of acid. There's one thing, I suppose. We could have picked um, missile weapons, and that would give us darts, slings, and crossbows. So there's an argument for the second game, particularly to switch to crossbows. We may do a bit of that, actually. But yes, very cool. Um, I do like arrows of dispelling and detonation. They're pretty, pretty good, but they're very expensive. Were there any spells we should buy before I go? 
wands. I think we're good for wands, although a wand of monster summoning could be very useful if we are engaged with armies. It looks like we've got two. Let's do a big um, run through of memorization. Hopefully we can sleep a bit. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we just lost 100 gold sleeping on the ground. Fair enough. Oh well. Can we sleep here at the elf side? A simple task. We can't sleep, can we? Done and done. Okay, well, let's just in let's inspect what, inspect what we can. Sell what we can. The battle tankard. And arrows. I mean, wands are going to make it. That's the difference. Let's just see. We're at a level where we can usually identify things by looking at them, but not always the case. That will keep. This one we'll just sell for the one gold piece we can. Well, that may be worth actually paying for it to be inspected. Let's do that. Most items are worth more than one gold piece. Yeah, we did well out of all that. We can't use the Wand of Heavens. Arrows of Fire? No. Arrows of Biting? No bonus to hit. Um, and the Poison is a Saver's Death. That's cool, but nah. I'd rather hit them with an Arrow of Piercing and do lots of damage. Bolts of Biting. Same sort of deal. Um... Plenty of arrows. I think we're good. We can keep that. The battle tankard. We can't really use it, so we'll sell it. Okay. Um, an arrow of detonation causes a fireball plus 1d6 in the actual arrow itself. We can fire that twice per round, which is pretty good. Alternatively, we can buy a wand of fire yeah, for a lot more. So the arrows are pretty, pretty good. Arrows of dispelling are wonderful. We've got 20. Let's see what happens if we get another 20. That's 9,000 gold pieces for five. Yeah, I think it was worth it, honestly. Um, we'll do the same with the arrows of detonation. So we start with 20, 45. That's a fireball we can fire twice around, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, arrows of piercing, we'll grab all of these. Oh, that's 15,000. It means we'll hit really hard all the time. Let's just grab 10. That's pretty good. Is there anything else we need while we're here? Like, wands are all good and everything, but I'd much rather have... Yeah, wands of summoning. We'll make good use of that. Is there any wands of lightning? We did use a lot of that one last time. Okay. I think we're actually going to just spend the rest on arrows of piercing so we can get out of here. There's little little money as we need, but bingo. We will be hitting like a ton of bricks regularly. Plenty of tools for combat. We'll see if his ammunition sells for anything. Uh, that 
was a bad idea. Three gold pieces each. We didn't even break even. Okay. Let's finish up and get out of here. A simple task. Oh, actually, I did that for Officer Fighter. Order is what matters. Cool. Was there any other quests we haven't handed back in? Should look for. Let's go talk to Orphilius again. You'd be at the bottom down here. A simple task. Done and done. A simple task. I don't think he's here. Maybe. Oh, he's re he's being healed. Done Let me see and where he done. is. Oh, enter. Ah, uh, yes. What does the hero of Baldur's get need of me? I understand you suspect Kayla Argent is an is a child of Baal. After Saravog, we'd be fools not to consider the possibility. But all we have is rumor and conjecture. If you two shed blood, that's all the more reason for you to represent us, no? Hold on, so we've told everyone we are Ballspawn. I'd have kept that to myself. Hmm. I have scattered reports, rumours, conjecture. It is said the crusade holds sway from the high moor to the winding water. Is this someone doing a French accent? The High Moor and Misty Forest are Kalar's, as are the Serpent Hills and most of Trollbark Forest. She has much of the Troll Hills too, but even she avoids Warlock's Crypt, so far at least. After her attack on you, I think her bold but reckless, willing to attempt anything to further her agenda, whatever it is. But for now, you must excuse me. The Council must see to the city as you see to Kalar. I more a favor your travels. Thank you. Hello, I am glad to see you well. How fair is Imawan? The intruder's weapons were poisoned, but Timora smiled upon us. The poison was weak and fatal only to the weakest of victims. Imawan's heart beats much stronger than that. Hmm. It's worrisome that the palace was so easily penetrated. And to learn that Kalar's reach extends this far beyond the winding water. In attacking me, she has overextended herself. I fear we are missing something here. Kalar's actions make little sense. Why would she attack you? And if she succeeded, what does she gain from killing the hero of Baldur's Gate? It would be a crushing blow to the city's morale, surely. Between the Iron Crisis, the refugees, and the tales they tell of the Crusade, I doubt our people's morale could sink much lower. But I have no better explanation for Kalar's attack upon you. I am glad we had a chance to speak before you depart. But now, I must go. There are many demands on my time. If I do not attend to them, their number will only grow. Farewell. A simple task. We're more than mercenaries. Hey, it's Bell. Accept my apologies. My intent was to keep you and Imowen safe. Kalar's assassins, indeed any assassins, should never have been able to breach the palace. What matters now is their intent. Baldur's Gate's rulers were within these walls. Yet they targeted me. Hmm.
Our scouts in troll caves and high moor have had little success tracking her movements. In the process, many of our people have gone missing, or worse, left our service to join her. What could turn loyal cities against their own, their own? What could turn loyal soldiers against their own city? Adherents of many faiths flock to her banner. What she hopes to accomplish is vague, but that's nothing. That's done nothing to diminish her followers' devotion. <clears throat> this is all we know of the woman who threatens us and all of the Sword Coast. She first appeared on the high moor with a handful of followers. Their ranks swelled alarmingly fast. Initially, their efforts were geared towards taking control of Dragonspear. Once the castle was seized, more flocked to her cause. Her army spread out in all directions, and now it has reached us. I hope you can end this threat. We shall see about marshalling our own troops and preparing for another battle. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Fenster. Hey, it's a healer sitting over Imowen. I welcome you with outstretched hand. Uh, what are we supposed to meet? The archer up here. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Not here, is it? No, same location. Done and okay. Done. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Looking at the time too, we're probably gonna done have to make the cut here. Done. But I will keep playing immediately, and you're welcome to join me too, Corwin. Okay. I am ready to begin the march to Dragon Spear. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imowen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. Cool. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Imowen, are you okay? Don and... Done. Hooded man. So this is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. If we have a strange hooded person inside here, why are we not flying defensive? How pleased I am to make your acquaintance, as I'm sure I will be at yours. Once you tell me how you got in here. If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. I suspect the palace's weaknesses have become all too apparent to you of late. That voice. Are we, are we thinking it? Yep. We're all on board. Hmm. Strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. Uh, I want to tell him little, if anything, but... The teachings of my foster father, Gorion, saw me through. Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? Hmm. He taught me to value knowledge. Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. Oh my god. I, I'm torn here because I want to celebrate the fact that it's this voice actor, but I also don't want to give away a secret to someone who may be watching for the first time. Ah, it's very sad, but um, I believe it's actually his voice. I'll, I'll check it before I'm finished. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. 
I can offer you clarity. But we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Should we call the guards? Who are you? What do you want? Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. Oh my god. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? Oh, I'm not sure I like him turning up this early. Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. I... Oh, you're back. Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison really takes a toll. It does. It usually sounds like this. Uh, 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 uh. Death. That was most of my experience in the first Baldur's Gate game. It's like, oh, it's a spider. I'll squish that. And then I got poisoned. <clears throat> Emma One, what was that man in the hood doing here? You don't know him? He said he was a friend of yours. We've known some pretty strange characters, so... I didn't think it was weird to have someone pop in looking for you. <laughs> I have no friends, just allies and tools. Oh, God. He's certainly no friend of mine. Forget about him. I don't think we should, man. I think there's like an entire game, game's worth of, of like plot if we don't remember this guy. We need to talk about you're going to battle the crusade. I know you think you have to do this, but I am telling you, you don't. Not only do you not have to do it, you shouldn't. Okay. I'm healing, but you need to heal too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just cuts and scars. But in coming to terms with, you know, what you are. Let someone else take care of the Shining Lady. Please. And none of their options allow us to accept this. Kayla and her crusade must never be allowed to attack us again. I knew you'd say that. I'm... I'm sorry. I can't go with you. What nonsense is this? You're the closest thing I have to family. I love you. You know that. But after Saravok, I need things to be... quiet. Just for a little while. I understand. You're not. I'm glad you're not coming in a way. You'll be safer here. Well, so would you, silly. But that doesn't matter, does it? I know that look in your eyes. I'm just wasting my breath. Look, I'm sorry, but Kayla is full of sweet, sweet experience points. And we will. We will get to magic. We will get to new spells. So, we gotta go. Promise me you'll be careful, alright? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Have a quick nap. Hey, he snores too, like I do. Sleep apnea for the win. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey! Are you awake? Ski, I am now, Ski. You can't tell Daddy Duke Silvershield about this. Good Lord, can't we just call him Dad? Why are you here? I've joined the Flaming Fist! Oh, good Lord. No, really, I have. Not under my name, of course. Daddy would never allow it, but I'm in it now! Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life and also get out of this dirty old city and maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So I'm going north with you. Well, that's something. I know. All right, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. 
Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. What have we got? Should we tell her dad? Look, uh, no, we ain't no snitch. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Done and done. Ah, the hero arrives. How come you speak with a very strong French accent, but your daughter sounds like she's from the middle of LA? Oh my god, I've joined the Flaming Fist. It's like, the best. I hope you slept well. You have a long road ahead. Yes, sorry, I'll stop with the impressions. Our prayers and hopes go with you. With your help, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the crusade before it grows any stronger. The Flaming Fist travels with you under the command of Captain Corwin and Corporal Duncan. I'm sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? What route will we take to the Dragon Spear Castle? Traveling by major roads, the contingent is too large to move swiftly over land. You'll cross the winding water at Coastway Crossing, then it's straight march. To Dragon Spear. Is there anything else? Let's go over the mission one last time. At Dragon Spear Castle, you'll rendezvous with troops from Waterdeep and Daggerford and bring an end to Kalar Argent's crusade, one way or another. Is there anything else? No, let's do it. May the gods look upon you with favor. May Timora smile on you, Aiden. If anyone can end this threat to the city, it's you. You'd better get moving unless there was something else. Nah, we ain't snitching. I'll be on my way. Speak with Captain Corwin by the main doors, and be on your guard. The trip north will likely hold dangers besides the crusade. Oh, we. Oui. Captain Corwin. Mm. Not a simple task. Look at them all. Ho there. You are the hero of Baldur's Gate, am I right? That's what they call me. The expectations of others need not be a burden. My own destiny, to become a paladin of Tyr, as had all the men of my family, was mapped out from birth. As a boy, I fought against it. I did not embrace a life lived in service to others. It was fear that compelled me. The fear of not rising to the call. And so I took the mantle and faced my fear. And when I did, I embraced it and discovered purpose, courage, and life. Cool. I am Rafus Goodtree. It is an honor to meet you. And it will be a greater honor still to fight the Shining Lady at your side. <laughs> if you think that would be a great honor, imagine how much better it would be if you fought her while standing between us. <laughs> we'll just say true. I have kept you long enough. And you have greater responsibilities upon you than trading words with me. But I may be able to help with your burdens, if you would accept it. If you would be happy to offer counsel and watch over any of your companions with good hearts. Should you have need of them, seek me out. That shall not be far from my sight. Until then, hero of Baldur's Gate. Belligarm. I have many fine wares. Cool. What do you have? Weapons. Uh, arrow of piercing. But we can't afford it. Can't afford much of this, can we? What else do you have? Scrolls and potions. Which we also can't afford. Ooh, maybe I'll buy some healing potions before we leave. Problem is, a healing potion's kind of... It costs a turn. A turn we could use to do something else. 
Special magic items. Robe of Vecna, please. Uh... Oh, it's you. Do you need something? Aye, the council... Th Do you have a problem with me, sir? Aye, the council may think the sun shines from your nethers, but I've heard the rumours. Maybe you are the hero, the bards say. Or maybe you were in league with Sarabok. Yeah, that's Dax. Time will give us an answer for, for that, I suspect. Until it done, until it does, I have orders to supply you, as long as you've coin to pay for it. Cool. Safana. Both the moment and person you've been waiting for have arrived. I am here. <laughs> So you are. Why? I remember you having a sense of humor. What happened to it? I don't know. It might have been the constant trauma of being attacked at every single corner of this this sword coast. Maybe that put a dampener on it. On second thought, never mind. I don't care. Cool. Audemar. Kayla Argent is a mad woman, a chosen of the gods, or possibly both. Whatever the case, she's clearly dangerous. Take care on your journey. I will. Thank you. Call it Roma. I want my mommy. Oh. Captain Corwin. Who is this delightful child? I'm not a child. I'm one, two, three, four, five. Five years old. No. I stand correct. This is my daughter, Roma. I know you. You killed Saravok. Are you going to kill Kayla too? Um, I'm hoping it won't come to that. They'll do what they have to. Just like you, Mum? Exactly like that. Your mother's a tough lady. You're lucky to have her. Sometimes when she's here, oh, she's going to miss her. I have to work, Roma. You and Grandpa need to eat. I know, I know. I just miss you when you go, is all. I know. I miss you too. Now give me a hug and go to your grandfather. No. Oh. Tugging on my heartstrings. It's like my little Coco. Are you ready to leave the city? Almost. As you wish. <laughs> so this is the great Feldurkin hero of Baldur's <laughs> Gate, eh? Doesn't look like much to me. Your name is Falg. Clearly your life was a mistake from the beginning. <laughs> look at this lot. Kayla's gonna take one look at him and die laughing. Actually, I like you. How much longer must we wait? Crowds are fickle things. I know too well what can happen when moods turn sour. <laughs> I love Vicania. Also, same voice actor who voiced, um, like a million different things, but also in Avatar. What's her name? Azula. You can hear it, you know. Faconia? Faconia de Vere? Is that you? What's this now? Padro knows the hero of Baldur's Gate? That's right, laddie. Your drow? I belong to no man, Faug. Certainly not you. Well met, Aiden. It's been a while. After Sarabok's fall, I searched for you. What happened? I attended to business of a personal nature. More than, than you need not know. <laughs> And what are you doing in the company with this sodden dwarf? Oh, let's be kind. Uh, you're my friend, Vaconia. Let's know what's happening in your life. We're all here for the same reason. The council put the world out looking for those ready to fight against this Kalar, and we're always ready for a fight. Oh, cool. So he's a, um... Oh, Drower. Is that the term? Just saw it a moment ago. Yeah, kind of like a dwarf of the Underdark. Good luck, I must be off. The doused. Both the moment and person you've been waiting for have I re on second thought, never mind. Petrescus. This and that to be done, no time to stay and chatter. Glad to hear it. There many depending on us to yada yada. Just one man. 
Hmm, do you wear a hood and frequent the palace chambers in the late hours? These questions remind me of another. You are more than a simple adventurer now. You have become a symbol. People cheer your name and look to you for hope. Tis a great responsibility, a greater burden than I've ever, I'd ever want to bear. Be vigilant. I wouldn't want anything to happen to the hero of Baldur's Gate. All right, we're almost done here. We didn't get a chance to talk to, to dinner here, so. By called. Also, her use of like the um, older style, like thy, these, and thous, is almost always incorrect, and I hope they maintain it. Will you leave soon? Minsk is eager to begin the journey. I fear his enthusiasm may cause trouble. Soon, I think. Good. That is good. All right, we're done. Let's go. There you are. The caravan's at the palace gate. We're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. Let's go. What are you doing? Cheering? Cheering for a sibling of Saravok? That's what they are. They found Saravok's journal. It reveals the truth, but the Council of Four wants to keep it a secret. Is that true, Aiden? Are you a child of Baal? I will answer them. It's a bad idea. Yeah, we're not telling the whole all the people that I'm Baal spawn. Hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. I know you have suffered at Saravok's hands. I know you fear what the future holds with the heretic Scala driving good people from their houses across the Sword Coast. I hear your cries for justice, and I swear to you, I shall end this threat to us all. Captain Shale Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? We shall see. And what of your goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla? A flaming sword? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold, not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. Yep. It's him. Ah. Very exciting. All right. I'm making the cut here. Um, something that's been rolling around in my mind for a little bit is the... Um, the fact that you can have a villain who is lawful good. You know, you have the alignment brick and i know at the very end of Baldur's gate 2 in throne of barley encounter another one but it's 
interesting, I find, to see a villain being someone who is convinced that they are right. So that might be what we see with Kayla. I'll save here, and I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching.